Grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I know, culturally that sounds strange, but it's Christmas for us. And look, if you will, even a little more red this week on a very cold morning for Florida. It's hard to complain. If it's this cold here, I don't even want to imagine what it's like other places. But besides the addition as it gets red, come and look at this building, if you will. The wreaths are up and the doors are now painted. It looks like the second coat of white is on the building. Christmas indeed, come on in. And in preparation for next week, the camels, the wise men, were in between on this day. Ah, a few candles yet to go out to people. It's still red up front with, notice now, no Advent wreath. We're out of Advent. We had that. It's Christmas. Come. And we're in between, the Christ child is here, the wise men soon to be. The centerpiece here is from our bishop, given to me, had it at home, but for us as his people, best here. I have this in the Christmas Day Bulletin and let the words of Bishop Charleston do us this first Sunday of Christmas. Here is the hand of morning coming quickly to part the curtain, letting in the first light, welcoming the wide-eyed day into the sleepy corners of our lives. A new beginning is the miracle that awaits each one of us. We are the people of new beginnings, each one of us, brought here by more mornings than we can count, fresh chances from an older life, a turn of events, a change of mind, an unexpected friend. How many different mornings have we seen? You and I are made of mourning, set free by the new light, forever welcomed into a life that is just beginning. Merry Christmas. <laughs>